Okay. We're going to do a Marabou steelhead fly. It's uh, Jay's Marabou Simplicity. Uh, I'm going to use a, uh, this is a Lagerton thread. This is a summer steelhead fly. This is a winter steelhead fly. This is a car wax. This is breakfast. You know, you name it. This is it. Um, seriously, I had very good success with this fly. Lagerton oval, small tinsel. I tie that on. You don't have to use a rotating vise for this, but I, I happen to. I've got some Borden's Custom Dubbing Blend in a purple. Oh, I forgot my own advice. See a little drop of head cement there? That's going to be really nice. So Notice, no tail. The fish wouldn't even see it. So I'm going to spin on a little bit of dubbing there. And then I'm going to come back and wind that on. Build myself a bit of a taper. Got a little bit too much there, so I just pull it off. I'm going to tie a whip finish. No, that's not a whip finish, that's a half hitch. Now I'm going to either wind on my tinsel that way. I'm just going to spin it forward. I'm going to tie that off. So carefully. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you, this is the Hairline Extra Select Marabou. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Look at how big these quills are. They're monstrous. Now, here, here's the temptation. You, you might want, because this quill is so long and so fluffy, you might want to use the entire thing to wind on. You really can't. The quill is, is too thick down here at the base to wind. So what I do, I will cut this quill and I will wind about this much. Now this is great material and you can use it, you can strip it off like this, you can use it for bugger tails, you can use it for wings, or you can use it in your Petijan uh, magic tool. So you don't have to lose this stuff, but just don't try to wind this material. So this fly is going to be tied and again, with marabou, sometimes your mistake is trying to put on too much. I'm going to wind this in by the tip. Now, Jay, sometimes you hear people stripping one side of the feather. Is there a reason why you you, know, you prefer not um, to do that? This is going to make it a little bit fuller. Okay. If, if I was going to tie a spay fly and uh, wanted it to be extremely sparse, then I, I would indeed strip the fibers off, get rid of them, eliminate them from okay. one side. For tying marabou as a collar, I like the whole shoot and match. So I'm going to trim that. I'm going to tie in the pink first. And this is very similar. And because I have a short piece here, I really can't wind it by hand. And even though this is marabou, you can fold marabou by running, I still forgot to put on my fly tying glasses, you run your scissors along that and that folds that hackle towards the rear, it makes it a little bit more manageable. Let's go, let's see how many turns. I was going to say three turns, but let's see how it looks. I'm going to stroke this back towards the rear of the hook. There's about three and a half, that might have been four turns. I'm gonna trim that off. Looking pretty nice. Now I'm gonna tie in my purple. You can
can use many different color combinations. Red and orange are very good in clear water. Um, black, oh my gosh, do you think steelhead would eat black? I suppose they might. So I'm going to fold this again with my scissors. I'm going to wind this on here. And I'm just going to put, well, I'm, I'm not going to say. Let's see. OK, three turns seems about right there. I'm going to just pretend I can see this and reach in there and trim by feel. Now, I'm using a, a kind of a hot pink thread here. What about a wing? This Flash to Boo Mirage is amazing stuff. Uh, I'm going to talk about that more later. But I'm, I'm going to, uh, is there magic? How many fibers? Uh, I'm going to choose maybe six. That's too many. That's too many. Let's count one, two. That's, that's four or five. Fibers. Not much, but this is really going to be visible. And because I chose just the right amount, it won't be too flashy. Just the right amount of flash. Wind this on. And then I'm before I finish the head, I just kind of hold this back and, and I'm going to make this just about the length of the longest fiber. If I want to use this, gather it. Lay it aside. I'm going to finish the head of this fly. Nice little bright head there. Got a little bit of marabou fluff standing out there, but that's going to be okay. Do a whip finish. There we go. Now there's a couple things I want to show you about this fly. Uh, this will pulsate. When you hit slow water pockets, this marabou will puff out. In swift water, it will take a very, very slim profile. This doesn't look like much flash in it. That, that approximately four fibers of Mirage Flashaboo, but it's very visible in the water. It's a very simple fly to tie, extremely effective. Uh, and I'll, uh, in another video, I'll show you some low water versions as well. But here's my winter steelhead, uh, Marabou Simplicity.